it's Natalie for a cherry on top today and it is technique Tuesday and I am doing a lot today it's we're focused on hot foil and you can see I actually have a die cut plate there it is not a hot foil plate it is a die cut plate um, as long as you have it facing up it's not going to cut into your hot foil pad and you should be able to use it to foil so you see I have some pre-cut lavender foil by spellbinders and now i have some cherry acetate i'm putting down on top of it i'm gonna let it sit for a minute <clears throat> i'm gonna run it through my die cut machine now it gave a little bit too much pressure right in the middle so you'll see like a little bit of um a more you can see like it's more than the pattern but you know i'm okay with it i'm okay with the distress look but also i'm gonna cut it out so you won't even be able to see it really um but look how cool that is so i foiled on top of cherry acetate and now i'm going to use that to create a shake and then i still have the opposite that i will use as well so i'm going to use these cute little dies from pink fresh studio to cut my um shaker acetate i'm also going to create my own little frames out of some purple um, glitter cardstock. So that's what you see me doing here because I don't have an inside part of that smallest die. So I'm just going to trace around um, and use a little bit of a already created one. So I use my, um, what do you call it? Exacto knife kind of thing. And I just kind of went around the edges and created my own little purple frame that will sit on top of the acetate. And that is what um, will kind of shield the um, foam tape from being seen, but then the foam tape allows you to pop up the acetate and gives room for the sequins. Now I'm showing you that I wanna use this um, precision plate to cut my acetate because that is the way that you can get it to cut through acetate with your die cut. Now I am also using another die cut plate. This one's from Pink Fresh Studio to do um, some foiling directly onto some paper. I showed you I'm using the Retro Summer by Crafters Consortium and I'm going to use the same purple um, foil and I'm going to um, give a nice little pattern on this side of the paper and then I'm gonna use the opposite side of the foil to just do a really full sheet of foiled um, paper and that is what it's going to be kind of the base to hold my shaker because I want these to stick into my um mini album and I wanted them to have like a place I needed to put holes into a piece of paper um, my shaper was kind of small so I'm going to attach them to this paper you'll see what I mean in a minute sorry if that doesn't explain really well so now I'm using my solid hot foil plate by Pink Fresh Studio to do the opposite side of the paper with the foil that is left over and it's gonna mostly be like a distress kind of look because I didn't put any shims down. So it didn't get like a full on page. So you can see it's kind of, you see how it's distressed. It left a little bit of the foil, but I kind of like that look actually. I'm gonna trim it down, trim off those edges where you can see like the lines. And then I'm gonna build my shakers. So I have my, I have my frame that I made out of the glitter paper. I have my acetate, which it has that little like pattern. It kind of looks like mermaid scales. That was kind of the idea I was going with here, mermaids. So I'm gonna use my cherry tape around the glitter frame and then I'm gonna attach it to the acetate. And then I'm going to use that, um, the foam strips from Waffle Flower Crafts because you can see they're really skinny. And so I don't have to cut the um, foam tape down the middle. And I'm gonna put it all the way around so there's no cracks and they will hold in all of my sequin mix. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the sticky and then I'm gonna very gently fill in with a few sequins. I don't want too many sequins since the entire background of the shaker is a photo. So I don't, I want you to be able to see their faces. But then you'll just like have a nice little mermaid scale acetate with foil and then some pretty little sequins and it makes their photos really cute. Um, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other photos. So that's what you see me doing here. And that's a Catherine Pooler mix. Um, if you check out the gallery, you can find this page in the gallery. And um, I'll, I tried to link some of the products that are still in the store that you can um, use as well. So I'm gonna sandwich in those sequins with the photo, which is the back of my shaker. Now I have two little shakers and I'm going to stick them, I'm trimming up the edges here. I'm gonna stick them on either side of the foiled paper that I, you saw me create earlier. 
and it's a smaller piece of paper than mm, the page protectors in my album. So I'm using, um, let's see, I'm using some washi tape with the same type of mermaid pattern to go down the side, strengthen the area where I'm going to put my holes. And then I also have, you can see over there on the right, a little stamped um, label kind of thing and that's what I'm going to use on either side of the paper as like a turning point so my reader can use it to turn the page easily and it's just another element that kind of is interactive um, which I love to do in a smaller album a travel album um, these mini albums are really great for those interactive type of elements what am I doing here? I am poking my holes putting my holes in um, so it can enter into my binding and I'm going to just <clears throat> stick down the label once I decide exactly where. I think I'm gonna center it on the page. And I left room on the page so it can be, it's pretty, you know, like I put the foil, but I also have room if I wanted to put like little journaling strips if I decide that I have anything that I need to go back and say about these photos. And now I'm just sticking those two labels together on either side of the page. So um, they have just little stamp sentiments that I had in my stash. Um, something about like little puns about being a mermaid. And I'm going to stick the um, shaker elements on either side. And then either side will have just a fun little shaker element. You can, you know, wiggle the page back and forth and the sequins will shake around in their shakers. And we're going to call it a layout. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Um, you can check it out on the blog and in the gallery today. And that is a lot going on there with some foil and some shaker elements. Um, if you don't have a hot foil yet, it's a super fun thing to play with. You can do it on the paper. You can do it on the acetate and just add lots of really um, interesting details to your page. And there I am entering it into my mini album. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, y'all.